Hello, friends. We continue our review of weapons, equipment, and various army tricks that were passed down to us as a legacy after the armed conflict in Afghanistan. Today, we'll take a closer look at one interesting question. Why Soviet soldiers didn't like taking the NSPU night scope with them on combat missions and tried to return it to the armory at the first opportunity? Let's start by looking at what this night scope actually was. The device was developed in 1970 by the scientific and production enterprise Orion. The scope itself weighed 2.2 kilograms and the full kit, 8 kilograms. It had a magnification of 3.5 times and provided visibility up to 400 meters in natural nighttime conditions. According to the manufacturer, the batteries ensured uninterrupted operation for six hours. So why didn't such a seemingly useful device gain popularity in the Army? First of all, the weight. The body of the scope was made of metal, so it wasn't light at all. In addition, soldiers had to carry not just the scope itself, but also a number of accessories, spare batteries, and other additional devices. In combat conditions, especially in mountainous terrain, every extra kilogram of gear became a serious burden. Secondly, the scope fit only certain models of firearms. The issue was the mounting system, the so-called dovetail rail. For night scopes, a special line of small arms was developed that had this type of mount. In most units, only officers or warrant officers were issued such weapons. But the main problem was the weak battery. As mentioned earlier, the manufacturer claimed that the night scope could operate continuously for six hours and be recharged up to 200 times. Most likely, those numbers applied to a brand new battery under ideal conditions. In practice, however, the performance was much lower. Many people remember that the USSR had serious problems with good rechargeable batteries. The armed forces were no exception. Every branch suffered from this issue. Communication specialists, sappers, drivers, and others. In field conditions, it was nearly impossible to provide reliable recharging. As a result, the battery usually worked for about 30 minutes at best. On top of that, the scope was very expensive by Soviet standards. Losing or damaging it could lead to serious trouble, even criminal charges. So carrying around a heavy and costly device that offered almost no practical benefit was considered pointless by most soldiers. That's why they tried, whenever possible, to return the scope back to storage. And what do you think? Is a night scope a useful tool or just an expensive toy? Share your opinion in the comments. See you next time on the channel.